Hi guys, <coughs> this is my entry uh, into Kida Sentry's <coughs> excuse me, 150 uh, Community Spirit Giveaway. Congrats on the subs, by the way. Um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to thank a lot of people out there that have sort of helped me on my journey into attempting to pick locks, which ain't very great most of the time. Um, like most, I guess, I started with a cheap Chinese pick set and watching stuff on YouTube. And then I got into a couple of groups on Facebook. And like, I guess all newbies ask the stupidest questions. Uh, you know, I've been picking for just over a year now. I started mid October last year. And after the sort of Chinese pick set was sort of not really good enough. Um, I bought myself a slightly better pick set. These set of a uh, C2010s, they're not a bad pick. Um, and went on to sort of chat with the guys on there, got lots of advice and help on sort of how to pick and on tension and things, which is very helpful. And anybody that's tried to pick a lock knows tension is key. Uh, as I sort of progressed on, um, Gordon W, who I'd messaged a few times and he'd sent me a few free locks. He's good for that, he's a good bloke like that. Happy to send you out free locks to practice on. Uh, he said I should start a YouTube channel. And uh, I told him that I was shite <laughs> and uh, I didn't really think anybody would want to watch. And he said, you know, it's not about you, it's about you on your journey and other people that are like you that have been picking a few months could see other people like them who also couldn't pick locks. You know, it's great seeing the sort of the top guys on here that are picking them in seconds. But when you've only been doing it a couple of months, it don't work like that. You know, it can take hours to get a bloody lock open. And uh, so uh, Gordon blagged me into it, really. And I'm quite glad, to be honest, because I really enjoy it. And once I got on YouTube, I found that the guys on there are just so bloody helpful and so nice. You know, always leave great advice in the comments and sort of, you know, tell you where you're going wrong, which is always handy. Anyway, I'd been picking about two and a half, maybe three months uh, with these these Southord picks, and the handles are tiny. The fact the picks are just generally tiny. You know, if you put them against something I use now from maybe Lorlock tools, you can see that they literally are teeny. So I suffer from arthritis in my thumb joints here both of them. Uh, I literally thought I was gonna have to give up picking because I couldn't grasp these tiny little handles properly, the things slipping all over the place. I just couldn't hold on to them. And uh, I, I put a sort of question out on, on one of the forums saying, does anybody make picks with really great big plastic handles and stuff that you can actually hold? And a guy just answered a, a couple of questions on the forum and then shot me a, a message over Facebook and uh, his name's Wes from Wes Picks. I'm sure a lot of you know who he is. He said, I'll make you something. And at that time, I don't think Wes was actually making picks. He'd maybe done a couple for himself, but he wasn't doing it. And I'm sorry about this, Wes, because I know this is your early work that I'm gonna put up here, and you're probably not terribly proud of it, but it's still my favorite bloody pick, and it's my go-to pick. Wes, literally, didn't say another word, and I just got a message, and he said, I've sent you this. And he made me this pick, beautiful, thick, wooden handle. I can get hold of it, and it literally is like a crowbar. It's strong as a bloody ox, and I, I literally, I use it every day. It's my favorite pick. Massive thank you to Wes. And that, that I think, is the sort of spirit that this community has. They're more than happy to help anybody out. If you need advice, if you need practice locks, you just get it all. <clears throat> the guys on YouTube, from the States, all over the world, you know, you chat to these guys and they're not, yeah, because they're much better pickers than I am and they don't talk to you. They do talk to you. And uh, I think the lock picking community as a whole is a fantastic uh, sort of community to be in. And the spirit of the whole thing is great. No, oh, no, there is one or two complete assholes that we probably don't talk about. But by and large, generally, I think it's a great community. Anyway, Keila, so I hope this is good enough to get an entry into your 150 <clears throat> subs giveaway. Have a good evening, gentlemen.